if you want the test bar in Windows 7, 8, 8.1 or 10 to look more like the one in Windows XP and Vista, you can start by selecting new small taskbar buttons and changing combined taskbar buttons to combine when taskbar is full or never combined. However, when you click an icon on the taskbar, it turns into the program that is open and the programs that are open are mixed with the icons. If you want the icons to be separate from the programs that are open and to open a new instance of the program every time you click them, like they do in Windows XP and Vista, then make a new folder anywhere you want and call it whatever you want. If you are using Windows 7, drag and drop the programs you want out of the start menu while holding down the Alt key into the folder you just created. If you are using Windows 8 or Windows 8.1, right-click on the programs you want, then click Open File Location, then while holding down the Alt key, drag and drop them into the folder you just created. If you are using Windows 10, drag and drop the programs you want out of the Start menu into the folder you just created without holding down the Alt key. Next, unlock the Test Bar, then right-click the Test Bar, then click Toolbars, then New Toolbar. Then browse to the location of the folder you created. Then right-click the toolbar you created. Then uncheck Show Text. Then right-click it again. Then uncheck Show Title. Then drag the running programs all the way to the right. Then resize the Quick Launch so that it is just big enough to show all the icons. Then lock the test bar. And you now have a Windows XP slash Vista style Quick Launch in Windows 7, 8, 8.1 or Windows 10.